Hi everyone, welcome back to Mr. and Mrs. Melonarian channel. In this video we are going to continue comparing watermelons. Uh, this time we chose a different variety. What's this? Well, it's still watermelon. Uh, I know. Citrullus lanatus. Citrullus lanatus. What's that? It's the Latin word for that. Okay. But this time we uh, selected a different variety, which is something similar to black diamond variety. It's from Spain, the seedless watermelon, but it should be quite okay. The way how we chose these ones, I went for the bigger, the biggest in the batch. Mm -hmm. I chose quite heavy. Oh, so, so good. Yeah, sounds fresh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice round shape with a very dark yellow field spot. Uh, last time we were speaking about the actual field spot. If it's not there, it might not uh, mean that the melon is bad because last time we actually had good melon uh, with a very little field spot. We have a summarized like four points. So first from the top, this part is similar, uh, no big difference. And uh, when we uh, put, yeah, the round is similar, but this is more round, yeah? And the mm -hmm. skin is a little bit uh, dark green than this one. Um, then we talk about the bottom um, here, yeah. The navel, uh. yeah. You can see that uh, these two watermelons have slightly different field spot. This one is much larger and a much vibrant yellow color, mm. whereas this one is not so uh, developed here. Mm. So we will see which one will be better. Mm. And in terms of the navel, mm, here. Uh, this here. is this seems to be slightly smaller, mm. but this one is da uh, darker. Yeah, quite dark. So yeah. we will compare these features as okay. well. I think this one will be better than this one. What do you think? I agree. Yeah, you agree? Yeah. So this one looks much better okay, than, than this one. And we will start with this one. Okay. Yeah, so, so the flesh is light red color. Uh, we will see, it doesn't look like a... Can I show you Chinese style cutting? Yeah, you can. Okay. Yeah. All right, so this is the way how I cut the watermelon um, in China. It's quite common and it can stand like stable totally, yeah. you know? So I like this more. Let's try. Okay, let's try. We'll so this in one. this one, every every part is included. They have the central, the the margin, mm. you know. Yeah, the rind. Yeah. Otherwise, Thomas will like cut that way and eat the central <laughs> part and left the end to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's my method. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay. so uh, it looks like a decent watermelon, but let's taste it. So cheers. Cheers. Mm. Quite sweet. Mm. Mm. Not very crispy. Yeah, just mm. a little bit. Now let's cut my melon. Second one. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Wow. See? Okay, cheers. 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 Let's try. Mm. Sweet, crispy, juicy. This one is slightly better than the first one. <laughs> so we concluded that this melon is better than the first one. At least 7.5, maybe 8. Okay. Okay, we are going to enjoy the rest of the melon. 
So thank you for watching and see you next time.